Sambar is the most common dish in South Indian homes. The key ingredient for the traditional sambar recipe is sambar powder. There are several brands of sambar powders which are available in market but certainly not close to homemade sambar powder. You are watching DCIT channel in DCIT recipes. Today we brought to your kitchen sambar powder and sambar. Let's watch first how to prepare sambar powder at home. Take a thick bottomed pan and heat it. Keep the stove in medium flame. Now add 200 grams coriander seeds. Dry roast till they turn aromatic. Keep aside. Add 100 grams chenna dal, 100 grams urad dal. Dry roast dals. Don't over roast dals. Now add 2 tablespoon cumin seeds, 1 tablespoon peppercorns, half teaspoon methi seeds, and half teaspoon mustard seeds. Dry roast in medium flame and keep stirring. The color of the ingredients should remain same. Keep aside. Add half teaspoon oil and add 150 grams Byadgi chillies now add 50 grams guntu chillies. You can adjust the amount of chillies depending upon your spice level. Biadgi chillies give good color and guntu chillies give a perfect spiciness to the sambar powder. Dry roast and keep aside. Add half teaspoon oil and add few curry leaves. Fry it and keep aside. Add 1 teaspoon turmeric powder and little asafoetida. Adding asafoetida gives a distinct aroma and flavor to the sambar powder. Now allow all these ingredients to cool completely. After cooling, transfer these ingredients into a mixy jar. Now grind to a powder. The powder should not be too fine or too coarse. Your fresh aromatic homemade sambar powder is ready. This recipe yields about half kg sambar powder. If you want less quantity, you can reduce all the ingredients by half the quantity. You can store in an airtight container for 6 months in refrigerator. Now let's prepare sambar using this sambar powder. Take a pan and heat it. Add 1 tablespoon oil. Add 1 teaspoon mustard seeds and 1 teaspoon cumin seeds. Let it splutter. Add 2 red chillies and few curry leaves. This tempering adds a punch of flavor to the sambar. After curry leaves flutters, Add 1 cup of boiled vegetables. Fry it for few minutes. You can add boiled vegetables like drumstick, brinjal, etc. as per your choice. We took carrot, peas, potato and beans. Add 1 cup of boiled and mashed tur dal. We cooked tur dal with little oil and turmeric powder in cooker with 4 whistles. Mashed tur dal improves the texture of the sambar. Add one glass of water to adjust the consistency. Give it a good mix. Add one tablespoon rock salt and one tablespoon jaggery. Adding jaggery gives yummy taste for sambar. Now take three tablespoons of already prepared sambar powder in a small cup and Add water to it. Give it a good mix. 
then add this mixture to the pan if we add sambar powder directly lumps may form in the sambar to avoid lumps we are mixing sambar powder with water give it a good mix now add tamarind water according to your taste we took a small tamarind ball and soaked in water before some time adjust the consistency by adding water add fresh washed coriander leaves finally it adds more flavor to the sambar wow your delicious colorful sambar is ready to serve with rice for more traditional recipes please subscribe our dcrt channel and click bell icon thank you